Here we are, the kingdom of Firene. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see... Firene is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, uh, Land of Plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm the Kingdom of Freedom and Brodia the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firene. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elusia to expand his own territory. I take it Elusia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elusians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Furine? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted. They're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saline, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to! It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with Her Highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's.
Sigurd! We go together! Alfred! Saline? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother! I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're... awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... they're coming to me. Care for us, Emblem of Echoes. I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Celine. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the Corrupted don't get in. Lend me your strength! Fate has brought us here. Lose. Don't break too easily. I'll have to up my weights. Emblem Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Emblem, engage! Ha! 
My apologies. Ha! Allow your soul the rest it deserves. Was that sufficient? I'm sorry. My muscles are yours! Crane mold. Here goes! I will protect you. to help you. <laughs> These houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old-fashioned village pillage. It's the crystal. It's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Letho's castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. Anything. It's just a scratch. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. <laughs> My muscles say thanks. If this love is a crime... Here! Ah! <sighs> it's tea time! <laughs> and so your tale ends. Ha! <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Louis, thank goodness. Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Understood. Is it go time? Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted! I can do better! For the Divine Dragon! Like that, maybe?
I won't forget you. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Firene! I would have won, you know, if they'd given me real soldiers. afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled, I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Huh? She's gone. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firene's request for aid, and your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. 
I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honored. Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um, <clears throat> Divine One. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. You're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. <laughs>